Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Daniel. I hope you guys are all having a great phenomenal day. Look, I'm back out of here with another video. Today we're going to talk about what is school like in Dominican Republic. Now, I am in high school. I am in 12th grade. Now, why do I say 12th grade? Stay tuned and you will see. So, I am in 12th grade high school. I'm going to graduate, going on to college, God willing. So, that's what this video is going to be really about. So, if you're interested in it, stay tuned. I'm going to tell you information of what school is like in the Dominican Republic. Specifically, a private school. Because I go to a private school called Iadis. So, stay tuned to it. And let's get right into this video. Before I forget, do not forget to subscribe and like the video. And let's also forget to follow me on social media, which I'll leave the link to the description below. But now, let's get to the video. Why do you say 12th grade? You're eager to know, right? Well, look, I say 12th grade like that because exactly here isn't 12th grade. It's sexto de secundaria. And wait a minute, you know, isn't sexto sixth? Yes, but let me explain. Look, in the, in the United States, it's kindergarten, you know, and here is still kinder. So then you go first, which is primero, all the way to sixth, which is sexto. That's sexto de primaria. Now look at the transition here. Seventh grade is first the secundaria, which is basically like where the big kids are, right? The big kids. Um, and then eighth grade is segundo secundaria. Then ninth grade is tercero secundaria. Then um, tenth grade is is cuarto secundaria. And eleventh grade is fifth secundaria. And twelfth grade, which is where I am at, is Sexto de secundaria. Okay, so that is basically one difference between Dominican Republic and the United States, right? And um, I, there's so many more other differences which I will get to. Now, the thing is, I was born in Danbury, Connecticut, born and raised. Um, and basically, uh, I've been to all elementary schools except Stelly Ruff in Danbury. And then I spent um, middle school in um in broadview and then um finally for high school i came to dominican republic for uh for high school 9th through 12th which i'm graduating this year and god willing going to college here as well which is my plan um so basically in that sense you know i i, I spent enough time here in dominican republic they must say you know how was that transition for you well honestly um, I w I've, I've been here to the Dominican Republic a couple of times. I, I, I spent uh, I spent second and third grade here, um, you know, and um, it it was it isn't that bad. And plus, it wasn't like really a crazy transition for for me for that reason that I said. But also, it wasn't such a crazy transition for me because I already spoke Spanish and I already had a Dominican culture in me, um, you know, because I've always surrounded myself with Dominican because all my family, mom and dad side are Dominican. So I had really no problem uh, fitting in when I came here. Um, obviously, you know, my accent is different when it comes to English. But in Spanish, yo hablo igualito que todo mundo aquí. So basically, I'm fine when it comes to that, right? Um, but in a sense... Um, I really like it here. I enjoy it and um, I really can't say anything bad about it. You know, um, yes, there is crime and I understand that, but I haven't been robbed at least, you know, at any time. I haven't been robbed yet or hurt or killed. It really just depends where are you at and at what time. Like, are you at, are you out at 10 o'clock at night? Then you're insane probably in Dominican Republic going out at 10 o'clock at night in the dark when there's nobody else. You know, that's pretty much you know a you issue and also if you're also um in a bar at night and there's a guy that's drunk and he says something to you and you decide to fight him and he, he pulls out a knife and kills you well then you know basically you were looking for the trouble i'm not saying you know it, it's right for him to kill you but you know it's uh it's the way it is so is Dominican Republic dangerous yes is santo domingo's dangerous more dangerous than macorís where i'm at 
So yes, the Dominican Republic is dangerous, but is it as dangerous as they really point it out to be? I don't really think so, at least where I live, because as I said, you know, it really just depends where you at and who are you surrounding yourself with. Now, do I recommend for you to live here without knowing without knowing Spanish? Absolutely not. I don't recommend you. Maybe in Punta Cana, I might recommend for you to do that if you want to work at a resort. But otherwise, I don't really think that if you don't know Spanish, you should live here. Learn Spanish. Learn at least the basics. Come here and you can adapt. Now, back to the school part. And I'm sorry for that interruption. But I just, you know, saw it kind of relevant in a sense. Otherwise, I really think that um, the differences which uh, schools in the United States and schools in the Dominican Republic is that honestly, schools in the Dominican Republic, for example, the one that I go to, the private school, I go to school at eight and get out at one. Yes, and not just me because it's my last year and I'm in high school, but also my little brother that is in fifth grade, he gets out at 1250. So, yes, he actually gets out even earlier. And now, if you go to a public school, which is, uh, if you go to a public school here in Dominican Republic, you will get out at 3, 3.30, uh, regardless of your grade. Now, in the United States of America, it's completely different. At least in my experience and where I was, I got out of school at 4 every day in elementary. Then I got out of school at 2.20 or 2.30 in middle school. Now in high school, I believe you get out at two, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So that's just a one difference between when it comes to, you know, the hour uh, difference when in, in, in that sense. So yeah, it is kind of different. It is very different in when, when it comes to that. Now, when it comes to teachers, man, don't get me started. Um, where do I start, right? Um, teachers in the United States of America, I don't find them anywhere bad, at least where I was. You know, I'm sorry if you have any bad experiences, but when it comes to me, I can't say it was all that bad. Um, I did have some racist teachers, probably had two of them. Uh, one specifically where she didn't like that I spoke Spanish with my Spanish friends. She would tell me that it is a United States uh, that is, it is an American school, so we have to speak English. But I ignored her. I didn't really pay attention. So, you know, she wasn't, like, surpassed racist or anything like that. But, it, you know, uh, that occurred multiple times. She didn't take points off or anything, so don't hate on her. She was my math teacher, you know, and I was, I always, had, I was always in the 70s range. Um, you know, but the thing, the difference is, and I'm going to be honest with you here, I didn't really like school in the United States of America. I didn't enjoy it, and it just wasn't fun for me. I honestly just, I don't know, I never really found the rhythm to it. I was always a C kid. You know, I was always getting, I was only in the 70 range, always. I never had my grades in the 80s, 90s, or 60s, 50s. It was just always in the 70s. Always, never changed, never varied. But the thing was that I wasn't really motivated. It's my teachers would tell me, you know, you have to pick up the slack and you have to do this and you have to do that. But I don't know. I just never found the enthusiasm to the teacher itself. And I think that is why I didn't really do good in school. But now I'm not playing here like the victim. I know that I wasn't a good student. I know I didn't study as much as I should have. And I know I didn't do my homework or my classwork. So don't blame my teachers for my grades. They gave me the grades that I deserved. But... Did they motivate me the way that I should have been motivated? No. Now, do they have to focus so much on one specific student? Absolutely not. But I just didn't find that enthusiasm and that hunger to learn. Now, I also think that it has to do a lot with, honestly, that, you know, I didn't have anybody at all to push me to do any, any of my work. Yes, my mom and my dad will tell me, go do your homework, but I wouldn't really do it. So when it comes to those things, I'm just being honest with you. And plus, I just didn't, apart from not liking school, I just didn't see, you know, the importance of elementary or middle school. I just didn't see it as affecting my life in that sense. And so I just didn't really care. Now, when it came to high school, I saw it as, wait a minute, colleges actually look at your grades. Okay, that's one thing. Now, 
you know, here's another thing, which is what I forgot to say right there was in Dominican Republic here, I'm actually pretty motivated. I actually do have the enthusiasm to learn more and more. I just applied for a course and just paid me, me 300 peso just so I could learn Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. Um, I pay specifically for Excel, but what else? Um, honestly, you know, I am actually, actually want to learn and I'm actually hungry for it. The reason why, I think it's because teachers are, yeah, they're chill and yeah, they don't really push you that much as teachers do in the United States. That's not a bad thing. It really depends on you, but I'm talking about my personal experience and my personal opinion. So, you know, they're really chill and they really, you know, they don't really push you to your limit in that sense. You know, they don't give you crazy amounts of homework as they do in the United States. That The English teacher gives you an essay and the math teacher gives you a whole freaking package for you to do for the weekend and then your history teacher tells you to read what abraham lincoln did in whatever year he was born and etc 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 and no we have no summer work yay for those people that don't like summer work right we don't have summer work but doesn't matter i still work and i still read during the summer as i said i'm just way more hungry to learn now i think it's also because i matured with time so for those reasons, um, I think those are the differences when it comes to the Dominican Republic and uh, United States of America. You know, the hours and the teachers and obviously the language. I don't even have to say that. So those are those are differences that I see, right? Um, but as I said before, right, I, I'm not blaming it on any of my teachers back in the United States. I just wasn't personally motivated because I didn't see the point at all. So don't blame them. But here now, I just feel like I am more mature and I feel like I care more. I care a lot more about my grades because I want to go to college and I want to be great overall in everything that I possibly can. So that is why I try to learn so much now. I'm reading a lot more books. I'm jotting down so many notes because I actually say, wait a minute, I have to learn things because everybody else is ahead of me. So I finally caught up and I'm finally getting ahead because people are also slacking. If you're one of those people that are slacking, I know your stage and I know what you're going through, but wake up. You have to start learning. Listen, there's something here that they say in the Dominican Republic, which el aprender no pesa. Learning does not put a lot of weight on you for you to struggle. It's just going to help you regardless of what you learn. Yes, calculus is not going to help you pay your bills or your rent. But it is going to help you get a high grade and it's also going to help you for college. So just go ahead and do it. And maybe you like calculus, but it's tough. Just go for it and grind your best possible self can okay just go ahead and do it and i understand everything trust me i was i was the a student i was the beast and i am now the b student so you know as i said once again i'm gonna say it so that you guys don't say oh the dominican republic is better no it's, it's not better because in the sense that they don't give you as much homework they don't give you as much you know uh motives and it there's no like there's no four counselors like, there's only one counselor in my personal school, right? And, you know, there's the teachers and stuff, they let you fight. And then you're going to go to the, the director and you're going to get expelled or suspended, whatever. But they don't break up the fight and say, oh, you shouldn't bully. You shouldn't do this. Yeah, they have their talks, blah, 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 blah. But there's not as crazy as... Um, in the, in the United States of America, so that, I almost forgot about saying that about saying that difference, but I uh, think I did remember. And also another thing is that that I think that is why the that the only thing that I can say that is better here in the Dominican Republic is that the reason why is because it actually builds you a thick skin and it doesn't let and it doesn't allow you if somebody calls you fat to hurt your self esteem. They call you fat, the guy just looks at him and say, okay, you get to get up in there. Like, whatever. Like, I don't care. Like, just move on, dude. What do you what do you care about me anyways? So I think that when it comes to in those senses, the Dominican Republic, I've seen it, and it also built my th thick skin. So it actually helped me in that way. But as I said, when it comes to grades itself, I don't blame it on my teachers. I'm not playing the victim. I'm taking accountability for what I did. And I wasn't a good student because I didn't care at all about school. And I was just doing the bare minimum so that in the summertime and in winter break, I could go to Virginia, visit my family, and have a great time. 
So that's the only reason why I kind of maintain my grades there in the C's, you know. Um, but, you know, I just think that now I just matured a lot more. Now I have all A's, thank God. You know, I'm actually getting these good grades for the reason that I'm actually motivated and I'm actually doing the best that I possibly can. So now the point of this video here is not only to tell you the differences between the Dominican Republic and the United States of America, but also to tell you that is not, don't play the victim. Do not play the victim and do not say that my te I'm not doing good because my teacher's doing this, my teacher's doing that. If you have to ask your teacher 10 million times to explain your calculus, you have to just ask your teacher 10 million times to explain your calculus if you really, really want to learn. It is all up to you, as well as it was all up to me. I had to learn. I had to push myself it's in order for me to get the good grades that everybody else was getting and that I just wanted to catch up. So it was really all up to you. You know, and, and and if you want to learn other things, it's also all up to you for you to learn those other things. You know, it you just can't. I mean, you know, man, you just you just can't blame society, and you just can't blame the others for so long. You have to take accountability at some point for some things that happen to you. So, when it comes to that, I just think you know I just had to put this video out because for the reason as I just said, you have to take accountability for the for your grades. If they're bad, go ahead and ask the teacher, little teacher, how, um, Mrs. Whatever or Mr. Whatever, um, how can I improve my grade? What should I do better? What should I do better? Because your teachers, regardless of the salary that they're making and how much fun you make of your teachers saying that, oh, you're only going to get paid 50, 40K a year, forget about your life, screw you. Don't you ever recognize and don't you ever think, well, honestly, this is affecting my life. This isn't even affecting theirs. So that's where I woke up. These are the things that I should have learned earlier so that I could care more about my grades. Because it just took me so long to catch up to everybody else. I had to work hard during the summer while everybody else was chilling just so that I could catch up. So I'm just trying to give you guys the wake up call. That this is for you. This isn't for your teachers. This is specifically for you. So, I hope that this video has found you value. And I hope that you have learned something different between the differences of the Dominican Republic and the United States of America. And I hope that it has also motivated you to be a better student, a better person overall. And, as always guys, hmm, instead of saying let's get to business, because this isn't a business video, let's get to work. Hey, you haven't subscribed, you haven't hit the notification bell, so what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time that we upload a video. Let's not also forget to like the video. But as always, guys, let's get to work.